Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Cody Vondell and today we're gonna be discussing how to create your own custom Y2K font. I just released my brand new font. It's called Googie. It's available for free on my Discord. And if you wanna support me and my channel, you can also pick it up for just a few dollars over on my Etsy. I figured if I'm doing you know, an ongoing series about the best free Y2K fonts, I might as well make my own contribution to it. So there it is, Googie. You can download it now for free. Before we get started, just gotta say thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It means a lot to me that the work that I share on screen is helping you with your design process. And if you're working along with me on screen or using some of the templates that I design and sell on Etsy, please make sure to hop on our Discord. We have an amazing community of artists, creatives, musicians, networking over there. We're sharing memes, music, resources, works in progress. It's a really cool community to be a part of, and I really hope to see you there soon. Let's take a moment really quick to check out what everybody on the server has been sharing lately. As always, the community is growing and sharing a lot of cool stuff. And if you're not over there, I hope to see you there soon. If you want to support my channel and get yourself some cool merchandise and graphic design templates, make sure to hop on my Etsy. I have pins, I have patches, t-shirts and hats, a variety of holographic stickers, and of course, graphic design templates that will make your workflow a breeze. And if you like my intro, outro, background music, I create it all. Just search Cody Vondell on Spotify or your preferred streaming service. You can also catch me on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And of course, at Cody Vondell on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. With all that being said, let's hop on screen and talk about the steps that I went through in the process of creating my own font. So I was feeling inspired by mid-century, space age, googie fashion and architecture and its resurgence in the late 90s and early 2000s. So I started playing with some basic vector shapes and using the Pathfinder tool to combine and subtract parts of those shapes. And I came up with several letters and this inspired me to finish the entire alphabet. As I worked on the letters, I'd create words and phrases to see how they worked in different instances. Quite a few of the letters were looking cool. A few others needed some fine tuning. And after completing the entire alphabet, I decided to create numbers and a few other basic characters. When I finished creating my entire set, I decided to buy FontSelf, a third-party plugin for Illustrator, and I used that to turn my vector shapes into an actual OTF so that other designers can save it and use it in their own designs. So here are the steps that I went through to make that happen using FontSelf. So the very first thing that I did after buying the FontSelf font maker was I created a brand new document in Illustrator and I started using some guidelines like this. And after creating all those guidelines, I went ahead and brought all of my letters from my other document in and I got all the, everything lined up, just uh, lined up all of the different parts of the letters, uh, added in the numbers and finally all of my extra characters and glyphs. And then I just uh, went up to window, extensions, font maker, and it's super simple. So uh, the very first thing I did was I just grabbed all of my letters, A through Z, drag them over here. It'll let you say if you wanna put it in A to Z uppercase or A to Z lowercase. This font that I created actually only has like lowercase. So I'm going to uh, put them in both the uppercase and the lowercase. 
And when you're in here, you know, you can go in here and kind of fine tune uh, little, little parts about the letter if you want to. Um, next, what I did was I went ahead and dragged zero through nine over and just dropped it right there in the numbers. So as you can see, it's already automatically linked all of my letters and numbers. Um, the very last thing that I wanna do is grab a couple of my extra little glyphs and characters. So this is where we are just going to go ahead and manually put in what symbols these are for. So this would be a period. That'll be a comma, a hyphen, an apostrophe, So with all that being done, um, pretty much have all my letters, extra characters, numbers, all ready to go. Just go up here and hit save. Name it whatever you want. Next it'll ask where you wanna save it as an OTF font. I just hit my desktop and boom, we have a brand new font created. So with a little bit of time, precision, and the right inspiration, you too can create your own alphabet and turn it into a font for other designers to use in their work. I actually had so much fun creating this font. The font itself is so easy to use. I plan on doing another uh, font very soon, probably a graffiti, handwritten kind of style. Uh, that should be a whole lot of fun, so stay tuned if you wanna check that one out. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of fun content planned that you do not want to miss out on. And if you wanna check out some of my recent work, I just did a video on adding motion to your photo compositions using After Effects. I did a quick After Effects tutorial on the handwritten and shine across effect that I used on Little Nas X's Panini video and the Lonely Island's Bash Brothers video. I added another video to the best fonts for Y2K aesthetic. And we created and colored a ton of cute little characters on screen using my brand new Y2K mascot maker. You can pick that up on my Etsy for just a few dollars. So that wraps us up for today. I'm looking forward to talking to you on my Discord and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you all so much.